Good morning. So the hot weather is finally behind us and it is time for passion to be good again. Make passion great and ew. Listen, I didn't have any desire to get out of bed for months now and the weather is finally starting to cool down and everyone is just so sad and down all the time and it finally makes me feel less alone. Like allow me to be selfish for a second, but I feel like the reason I like this weather so much and the winter time so much is because I just feel less alone and like out of place for once because like the reason i'm so depressed during the summertime is because i always feel like i'm making all the wrong decisions about not leaving my room for three months i just really like to spend my time alone and like my social battery runs out really fast so but like when i see that no one else is doing what i'm doing during the summer which is basically what i do all year round which is nothing i always feel disappointed in myself because i'm not like stepping out like everyone else and i'm not enjoying my time during the summer which is ironic because like i actually am enjoying my time but like in my own way but and like i don't even want but also it doesn't even matter that i don't want to step out i still feel like i wasted my time does that make sense and then the cold weather comes and everyone is finally at home and i just feel like i can relate to everyone suddenly because we're all living the same lives now that's actually what is this that's such a selfish way of saying i'm happy that everyone is as sad as me now is that what i'm trying to say that's so mean never mind anyways all i'm trying to say is that as soon as the temperature cools down i can breathe again my skin is clearing up red bone but childish gamino is starting to sound exceptionally good once again my hair is starting to naturally get waves again i don't want to die my hands are cracking and bleeding because they're so dry because it's winter but that is a sacrifice i'm willing to make because i know that when i walk outside and people look at me it's not because they hate me it is because they like my coat so if i had to go to a desert island I no, actually let's do it again. That's not a good analogy. If I had the option to move right now, but I had to leave within like 10 minutes and I can bring anything I want for my house, I bring my coats. And that that's that's what you've been waiting for. I like coats and I collect them. Today I'm just gonna try to style a few outfits because to be quite honest, I came up with this video title and I really like it. So now I just need some content to like fill up the video space so I could use the title. So the outfits are not gonna be anything special, it's just what I wear in, during the winter time on like a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and like how I stay warm without having to zip up my jacket because that's not what I like aspire to do ever so so we're starting off with a staple it is a camel coat if you can take anything from this video is that you need a camel coat everyone needs a camel coat it looks good goes with everything and because I said so so I got this one shirt as my hold on oh my god I put all my shoes down here because I knew I'm gonna use them for the video and now I can't get to my clothes. Also something that everyone needs, a shirt like this. If possible with a pattern like this, but just like with these tones, reddish tones, just red, you know? I see red. I can't believe we all watch that movie, willingly. 365 days, what the fuck was that? So a red shirt and a camel coat, look at that. <gasps> Amazing. Oh my god, also speaking of movies, I have such a good movie idea. Like a genuinely good movie idea. Like you'd never believe I came up with it. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because someone might, you know, hear it and steal it. I'm also never gonna make this movie, so this will always just like remain an idea. But still, it's good. Until like someone does come up, come up with it and then like makes a movie and I see it and I get mad for not doing it first. Even though I know I never would have done it myself. But just so you know... It's good. It has two plot twists. The first one is added to be like the predictable one. So you all just go like, well, no shit that happened. We knew that since episode one. It's actually a mini series. It would have like seven or eight episodes. <laughs> so that plot twist is added to trick you and then bam, unexpected twist. And then bam, another unexpected. Oh my God, it has three plot twists. Oh, that feels like too much. I think I need to revise that. My hypothet I need to revise my hypothetical script for a hypothetical movie. I also know the actors who would play each character. So the female lead, me <laughs> and then we have two male leads david castaneda and drew starkey so anyways back to the shirt so that shirt would go really well with an outfit that lana del rey invented blue jeans and white shirt right but i don't have a white long sleeve top that's not a turtleneck so i'm gonna use this white t-shirt but we're all just gonna imagine that it's a long sleeve so okay i had to move because the lighting was better but we have a white top that we're gonna imagine is a long sleeve we have jeans white buffaloes the shirt now we're gonna tuck in one side of the shirt like this oh i also added some jewelry here and then the coat 
obviously you can also do a scarf maybe this one or hold on oh yeah this one's better so yeah a scarf and that's it you're ready everything matches everything looks put together oh you also bring a mask then we have the newest audition to my coat collection so basically i went to apply for my map or enroll maybe register register for my no enroll for master's study enroll in master program I don't know, it's one of those, or neither of those. I went to do that, and then I had two hours to kill until my bus arrived, so I decided to go to a mall and just like look around, and then I accidentally bought this. And I felt really bad about it because I really didn't like it at that moment, but like I just felt like I needed to walk out with at least one bag so I don't look suspicious, you know? And also like, I felt bad about it the most because I was doing so well at just actively ignoring fast fashion chains and not supporting them and then i did something like this but honestly i love it now i can't stop wearing it like it's definitely my favorite jacket right now and it's the only kind of jacket that i have that has a hood which is great i also really like the texture like oh golden hour it's 2 p.m so i like to wear this coat with this exact sweater because it has this deep purple on it just as the coat and then to remind people that i do in fact spend my time on tiktok just in case you were like unsure about that question i like to pair that sweater with a t-shirt and jeans and the t-shirt kind of like peeks out in the collar and on the lower hem as well it looks really good now for the jeans these are the jeans i took them from my mom and i don't think i'll ever be able to find a pair of jeans as perfect as these honestly and every time i put them on i'm under a lot of stress which is very often because i wear them a lot what if they break what if they rip what am i gonna do also the crotch area one of the threads is loosening up and i don't know what i'm gonna do without them honestly you know every time i put them on i tell myself enough of that stop with that time will come for that stress time will come when that time will come for that stress to be appropriate and valid but that time is not today so press news on that and just be thankful okay so this goes like that then the shirt and then this like that kind of and then the coat obviously and a bunch of necklaces as well <laughs> every time i see a bunch of necklaces it just gets funnier i have these four necklaces that i wear all the time and that's it and it's great because it's layered so you're not cold this is a real winter outfit i wear this outfit a lot when it's really windy out and i never fold i never need to zip up my jacket so it's windproof it's dusted and it's great so that's that so this is another version of the outfit that I just talked about, the sweater and a t-shirt combo, except this is a turtleneck now. And listen to this, this is some good stuff. The previous sweater was a v-neck, so what did I do? I added a crew neck t-shirt underneath so you can see it through the v-neck. But now we have a crew neck sweater to start with. So if two plus two is four, five plus five is 10, then what the fuck is this? This is a better option, that's what it is. Oh, also, can we just appreciate the color match for a second? Always pick a multicolored item. Find one color from it, then pick the second item in that color or shade. That is the peak of fashion. Absolutely cannot go wrong in that. Except sometimes, but like most of the time it hits. Oh, I also want to talk behind the scenes of every outfit because I just know that for some reason people like to flex under these kinds of videos of like winter outfit suggestions of how they live in these freakishly cold areas and i just know that i'll get at least one comment of someone telling me how if they followed any of my advices they would get like hypothermia or something because it's just too cold for where they live i mean first of all i get it like i'm the first one that like freaks out when i see someone suggesting me to wear like a pair of shorts on my bare legs and put a coat over it and calling it a winter outfit but <laughs> this applies for every outfit i'm just gonna show it on this one so i always wear a pair of leggings underneath my jeans and then like a cami under my top so i have a bodysuit on right now and i would put like a cami under this bodysuit as well and then the coat and the scarf as well now for hats I don't wear hats, I do regret it sometimes, but not enough to buy a hat. The last hat I had was in my freshman year of high school, it was a black beanie and it had text on it, it said GENIUS in all caps, and I thought I was the coolest person my hometown has ever had the opportunity of laying their eyes on, and I haven't recovered ever since. So that's why I don't wear hats. Oh my god, also the day I bought that hat, my friend took a photo with it and posted it on Facebook. 
this was 2013 everyone was on Facebook and I remember I was so mad at her <laughs> because like now everyone's gonna think that was her hat and not mine like tell me you're 15 without telling me you're 15 and the funniest thing is that they like did they did think that I remember I went to school on Monday and I put my little mini on and everyone was like oh you're wearing her hat <laughs> I was like no I'm not it's mine okay i want to style another outfit with a purple coat because there's another outfit that i really like to wear it with so here's the thing i love to layer okay big big fan of that and i try to incorporate it in every single outfit if i can even if it's just like putting a turtleneck under a sweatshirt you know like even the simplest way of layering is enough for me but then i also like to layer with the only other layering piece that i know of and that is a button-up shirt and what i i know <laughs> whoa right just putting on any kind of top and then layering a shirt over it but buttoning it up only at the like third or fourth button is the true meaning of fashion that is actually like when fashion literally started like the second someone did that for the first time is the beginning of fashion it was a cultural reset and it belongs in a history textbook especially with the top that's layered under the shirt is a black turtleneck and the shirt is white something about that contrast just, it sounds horrible in theory but looks amazing in practice also something that i should always do is roll the sleeves of your shirt. Just do me a favor and always do that because you gotta think in advance. You know, like during the day, you will have at least one opportunity to take off your coat. And that will instantly worsen up your outfit because coats just enhance outfits. You know, coats are like makeup for your clothes and you're gonna have to take off that makeup during the day at least once and you don't wanna be caught off guard. So always roll up your sleeves and you're good to go. You're ready for every situation. And then to keep up with the monochromatic theme, I wear black pants without outfit. These are pajama pants that I wear as pants and then just white platform shoes. Again, something about those shoes. I just can't get enough of them, but that's all you need. Trust me, just trust me on that. A pair of white platform shoes and a pair of black platform shoes. That's it. That's the outfit. It doesn't have any form to it. And I love it because of that. Like it's so unflattering, but that's exactly what makes it so flattering. Also, as I said, these are pajama pants. So the fabric is a bit thin. So if I were to wear this outfit during the winter time, what would I do to solve that problem? Well, I would first put on a pair of tights and then I would put on leggings that I'm wearing right now and then the pants. You know, there's not a lot of things that I like about myself, but there is one trait that I love and that is my determination to wear a certain outfit. Nothing will stop me. Like if I were to wake up and it was the coldest day I've ever seen in my entire life, but I planned on wearing this outfit today, I'll find a way. I don't care. I can also tuck in the front part of the shirt like and wear like that kind of i love this outfit because nothing is my size or it looks my size but also everything looks my size at the same time next up sweater vests just vests in general like i don't understand why i didn't wear them before honestly it just adds so much to the outfit so here's the story i love crazy pattern pants okay love everything about them love to see them on someone else love to wear them even more but there's a problem and the problem is that i can't seem to find a lot of those to buy so i thought oh what if I just buy a pattern top instead? That's pretty much the same thing, right? Like it would have the same effect. So I bought a couple of those tops and guess what? Not the same. It doesn't give me any sort of satisfaction because my pants are still boring. But now I figured if I put a pattern top, plain pants and a sweater vest over it, done. So let's do this. Okay, here we go. Pattern top, plain pants, sweater vest. The sweater vest protects you from the cold and the wind so you don't have to zip up your coat. Which, speaking of, Listen, it's time to go all out. I thrifted this coat for seven euros. Seven! Also, speaking of going all out, different shoes instead of white platform shoes, I have black ones. It's not easy being an adrenaline junkie and living on the edge all the time, but sometimes you just gotta do it. It left you short. Also, I need a black scarf with this. I don't know where mine is, but just imagine it. Then I also have the purple version of the outfit. Listen, the green outfit I just wore, I gotta be honest, I'm not too sure how you feel about it. It was a bit experimental. This is some good stuff right here. And it's pretty much the same concept too, like a pattern top, plain pants that match the top, sweater vest, this coat that looks green on camera, but it's like blacker in person, so it matches more. But even as a green coat it kind of matches too seriously like what more could you ask for everything is here and now we can also use the base of this outfit which is the shirt and the pants change only one thing and have a completely different outfit check this out so this is the second outfit with the same base what did i do took out the sweater vest put a equally as purple turtleneck and then for someone who doesn't like the color purple i really have a lot of purple things but maybe this isn't even purple after all. maybe this is burgundy 
I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about colors. The most heated argument I've ever had with my mom is about our perception of the color burgundy. And I'd rather not go that way. Again, what is burgundy to me is purple to her, and what's burgundy to her is brown to me. So I don't want to talk about colors, but I have a camel coat as well. And a scarf. Wait, I don't know, probably this one again, right? Yeah, and that's the second outfit. A completely different outfit, but like basically the same thing. I love my confidence in this video. Like, I'm presenting such obvious facts as like revelations. But still, it's a good outfit. If you've made it this far into the video, then I would just like to wish you a welcome to a section called testing out outfits that I think would look good but haven't tried them out yet. Basically, I have two outfits that I think would look good and I want to try them out live on camera today. Now, for the first one, like I'm pretty sure it would work because it's very simple. But like about the second one, like there is a very high possibility that it will look like those parody fashion TikToks of like fake fashion students with like a ridiculous amount of layering. But we'll see. As I already mentioned, vests are my most recent revelation when it comes to the fashion industry. I started wearing them during the summer when I realized that that's like the simplest and the fastest way of elevating a simple crop top and pants look without like sweating through it too much, you know? Like when you think about it, a thin vest is basically a non-existent layer worth wise, but a very interesting la- a very- <laughs> but actually a very interesting layer fashion wise what so i bought this knitted vest to use for like the transition of this summer concept i just talked about into winter and i was just thinking like an all black outfit with this so like a black turtleneck and black pants and that's it maybe like an all white outfit could work too no i'm gonna go with the black outfit i'm gonna play it safe that's a fun fact about me not much of a risk taker oh yeah this is a classic yeah it's good Oh, I can also wear it like this. Hold on. Also, I'm wearing my skater pants. I paid 50 euros for the customs only for them, accidentally. And now I'm making sure I get my money's worth by wearing them every other day. But honestly, I really like them, so I'm not even mad about it. Anymore, at least. I was really mad when it happened. I feel like any kind of coat will look good with this outfit because it's just monochrome. So I'm going to go with this one. This is the warmest coat I have. And like basically the only coat I wear during like the real winter, you know, like in January. January is like the month when the rest of my coats go on a break and I only wear this one with every single outfit. Because I, I know that like when I put this on, I'm not going to get frostbitten for sure, you know. Maybe the black coat with fur would also look good. I don't want to try it. Let's just imagine it. Okay, next. I love a good monochrome outfit, okay? No, you know what? fashion people it doesn't always have to be about color okay doesn't always have to be about matching different colors and the color theory and the color wheel a solid color outfit is just as good and it looks sophisticated so fuck off anyways <laughs> i don't know what that was but i do love a good monochrome outfit and I love a good layered outfit and I also love a look of lingerie on top of clothes. So I thought, what if I just merge all of those concepts? <laughs> I'm gonna play the all black card because I'm still experimenting with this and it kind of feels like the safest choice, but let's try to do something about it and let's also make it winter appropriate. So I was thinking a black turtleneck, a black corset, a black button up shirt. You're joking, you can't even see the corset. Maybe it's because of the lighting. I mean, the light is not doing me any favors today. Black pants, necklaces, not black, and black buffaloes. Something tells me I will look like Cruella DeVille minus the Dalmatians fur, and that I will enjoy every second of it. Okay, I changed the pants. Definitely looks better like this. I still don't know how I feel about the outfit, but I don't not like it. Because how can you not like an outfit with this coat? Kind of feel like I'm like getting ready for like a bougie funeral. I'll be out of the way just in all black. I'll call out your name, but you won't call back. I'll hand a flower to your mother when I say goodbye. Cause baby, I don't know. That's exactly how I feel in this <laughs> Well, maybe not actually. Okay, well, I listened to that song in high school, and that would imply that I feel like I'm back in high school, and I don't want to feel like that. Overall, it's an okay outfit. Like, I don't think I would wear it out, but it was a good try. And that's all I would say. Okay, I've found better and worse lighting at the same time, but at least you can see the texture of the corset. So there's a lot of things going on, but I don't. Hate it. Okay, now I want to give you a speed run of my other coats that I usually like wear on certain occasions and with certain 
outfits but now i'm worried that this may come off the wrong way i don't want this video to feel like i'm like bragging about my coat like look at how many coats i have i've been collecting these over the years some of these are thrifted uh like one i took one from my mom too and like i wear them all the time all of them i truly wear all of them all the time so i don't feel bad about spending my money on them you know and it's also my money and i can spend it however i want great disclaimer the first coat i want to show you is my sweatshirt coat now i usually wear this coat with sweatshirts <laughs> Can you believe it? Almost as the name says it all. Now for that outfit, I always wear my sweatshirts with jeans. In my opinion, it just looks the best. And I always put a white turtleneck under the sweatshirt or a white t-shirt. Yes, it's the office reference. You know what? Here's a little fun idea. How about you mind your own business? And as you can see, the coat just goes so well with it. And that's it. That's the outfit. Now, sometimes... Sometimes a girl's just depressed, okay? And I don't want to dress up or dress at all, but I have to in some cases. And in those circumstances, I go with my uniform, which is a turtleneck and jeans. And that's it. A turtleneck of any color and jeans and one singular necklace. And in those cases, I use this coat because it just goes with every one of these outfits. You can also add a scarf and that, look at that. I look clean. I look clean. But together, I look like I didn't spend a lot of time on my outfit, but that's because I'm just above it, you know? And I was just born with this exquisite taste so that like even my running around town outfit looks put together. And lastly, I want to show you my second coat for like hardcore winter, which is actually a jacket. Now, this is a winter jacket, okay? Like, like a blizzard winter jacket. This is something I put on when the weather is so unbearable that I just have to zip up my jacket. There's no choice. Now, I wear this jacket with absolutely every outfit because the weather requires me to do that, but my favorite outfit to wear it with is this one that I found on Instagram, and that fact will forever be fascinating to me, just like the fact that I wasn't able to pair a sweater with corduroy pants myself and i had to consult instagram for that but yeah it's just a black chunky knit sweater brown corduroy pants black platform shoes this puffer jacket and a black scarf which i still can't find you know what i have an idea what if we try to put a white button up under my sweater <laughs> if you told me a year ago that i'd be trying this today i would have laughed in your face wouldn't even feel sorry for it because like ever since i stopped using tumblr i swore that i'm never gonna wear that outfit again and here we are. But you know what? I'm slowly getting over my Tumblr demons. I can't drown them. They know how to swim. But <laughs> but I am slowly getting over them. You know what? Not bad. I love Scandinavian. I don't even know what I mean by that. Never mind. Never mind.